very quickly very quickly before we begin uh, this soundtrack is not owned by me this is owned by Nintendo and the subsequent game Pokemon Red and Blue please don't sue me Nintendo team anyway on to the video <coughs> how's Mike and welcome to well I'm going to explain it very quickly but right now as the title may suggest I make my own horror map completely in vanilla I've never done anything like this before and I'm quite proud of the progress I am making so very quickly, I'm going to very quickly tackle uh, things such as the lore, uh, this entire thing, the complicated red, or not compli averagely complicated redstone structures, and monsters, and blah blah blah. Don't worry, we'll get to that later. Now, essentially, you you're probably asking, why am I? You know, playing Lavender Town by Nintendo, not me from Pokemon Red and Blue. Well, thank you for asking that, completely made up person. This is essentially just Lavender Tower. It's a graveyard, except it goes up. Several, several hundred layers all going up. Except I'm too lazy to make hundreds of layers, so I've just made five. And essentially, what you have to do is collect a relic from each of the five layers which you're allowed to go to and put them into this structure, which opens this gate, allows you to follow through one final jump scare, hoogly boogly boogly boogly, the end. But essentially, uh, I need to get you acquainted with the five relics, which are all separate, which are each individual body parts but made of crystal. We have the crystal bone, crystal mind, book of revival, that is the crystal, but it might be, don't worry. Uh, we have the crystal heart and the crystal soul. Now, this first episode will focus on the crystal bone in the first layer, which has two individual challenges, all run by a singular ghoul. <coughs> now, each of these layers will be different, each with their own individual, I guess, like, area of expertise. But the final one, containing the final, I guess, structure, and being slightly different than the other four. Now, you're probably wondering how this is going to work itself, how is this going to open the door, and I'm going to explain that. Second. So going through the floor very quickly, and going over here, uh, you'll see this dirt spiral. In this chest is two rows of netherite swords, two blocks and ten blocks of netherite height. And over here is a command block which fills that, I guess, gate with air. So this activates when there are five, when the five relics are inserted into it, and it opens the door with the fill command, allowing me to aim, exit. Hoogity boogity 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 end game. Now, what did I go into again? I I can't find where I went through, so I'm just gonna break this. Uh, but anyway. This is going to funnel down, open this door, walk through, hoogity boogity boogity the end. But essentially, uh, I've already finished with the first level, so uh, let's go through here. Wait, wait. Ah, that that that's an issue. Do not worry. I'm gonna get into that later. Uh, I'm gonna switch the music to something else. A vaguely related to spooky spooky. This is particularly spooky. Look, this is from spooky to get, get, get it. it, it it's from spooky to it's, it's spooky to jump to get, get it. Whatever. Uh, so we really need to time this so we don't immediately die. Okay, as soon as this opens the gate. Why isn't this. Hold on. All right, it locks after we've gone through it, right? I've never really figured how how to deal with that. But essentially, all we just have to do is wrong side. Open this, close this. That should. Okay, so I, I, I that, that that's that's an issue. Don't worry, we're we're, we're probably gonna fix it probably. So essentially, let's just pretend that we go in here and very quickly does that. But, uh, 
uh, great job, we've made it through the elevator and gone to this section. So you'll see this is kind of a graveyard, and don't worry, we'll get to that spooky guy later. But essentially, uh, these lanterns turn into actual lanterns when this guy's a coming, and soul lanterns when he's not a coming. So, yeah, these graveyard, these graves act as barriers, so we can't just, just sneak through these areas. So, when these gu this guy's gone, we can go through. So, essentially, the law with this guy is, oh, well, we'll probably get to that when we got to the other side. Which is going to be quite a hassle, especially if, actually, you know what? I did include a uh, sound effect for him. Hold on. So yeah, that plays whenever he approaches. It doesn't play when he approaches though, it only plays for him. And each of these guys have their own individual sound effects, so yeah. And right, hold on. Yeah, let's just go across here. Uh, so yeah, let's not get too close to him. Yeah. Let's talk about John Backman. You see, John Backman was a knight in like the 1600s, roughly. And he was poisoned by his king, who he served. Which is why it says, what's too trusting. Uh, so that's his spirit, that's his corpse. Uh, slimes keep on going to the mine pump. I have a specific, uh, command block over there to murder slimes. That, that's not a joke, by the way. I actually have a murder all slime command blocks on right there. But, yeah. Uh, so let's turn back on the, uh, spooky Jumpsy Mansion music. There we go. So essentially this, if you couldn't tell by the barriers, is an invisible maze where you have to go into the dead ends to avoid Monsieur Le Spook or whatever. So you have to go very quickly, very quickly, very quickly, and it's going to go, I go behind him. And there we go. That was a mini version of a maze. I am going to do a hedge maze later on. But essentially how this works is, actually, let very quickly, so here's the crystal bone, you can pick it up before returning to that area up there. See, told you it was useful. And then you drop it into there, it's wonderful. Now, I very quickly want to go over the, uh, I guess, main functions of each of the, or of the spirit of the corpse. This is, this entire L shape is the spirit, that's the corpse. It is, like, night and day. <coughs> this here is what turns the lanterns on or off. This is counted exactly to what, six seconds, I believe. So wait, no, three seconds, probably. Uh, this turns the lanterns, or soul lanterns, into lanterns. This turns the lanterns back into soul lanterns. It doesn't affect the lanterns in either of the elevators, so yeah. Uh, this right here is what makes, uh, first of all, any of the armor stands kill you. This includes spirit, the corpse, or any of the other uh, spirits of corpses in the four separate levels. And this here plays the uh, sound effects of uh, the gas dying constantly when within 10 blocks of uh, the spirit so it sounds like they're going or something like that and this here is what teleports them these all happen in rapid succession so it looks like they're just going instead of but uh yeah so this summons the ghost uh i made the command using a a certain website, I can't remember what it's called, but whatever. And it teleports all the way to here where it kills it when it's halfway in between the elevator. Uh, 
this can be turned on or off by removing the redstone and pressing the button. Um, and uh, essentially, if I want uh, later on in the series, I am going to be playtesting through the entire thing instead of just each level at a time. And at the end, it's both going to be me playing through it and my brother, Unwilling Pest, playing through it. And he's not. He doesn't do good with horror, but he does do good with fucking up my, uh, I guess, prison maps, question mark. Actually, we're both good at fucking up each other's maps, so maybe. However, I've specifically fine-tuned this level so that he cannot break it, so I can't wait to see what he tries to do to this. For example, uh, you might have noticed in the first level, it's basically just an alley. Uh, you might have noticed uh, these specific decorations where it's essentially uh, like behind these are logs and in front of them are like the chocolate. It, it's not actual chocolate, but what you should be able to do with trapdoors like I am doing now is do this and then bounce onto one of the barrels. But Shit. Uh, I have made these barriers specifically so that they were very high uh, near where uh, these things are. And you might be saying, oh, well, we could maybe get in here because you can't put a barrier block near that door. And that's accurate, but they've been softened. And naturally, I don't think being soft was the best. So if that happens, I can just, I don't know, drop an arm stand on them. But yeah, essentially that is the first level of my, um, of my new horror map. Uh, it should be done, uh, in a couple of, or in like a week, which it should be ready for, uh, school to come back. Me. Ooh. Why did I just try to hit my head against the mug? Anyway, folks, that is all for me. I can't wait for you to see what horrors I have in store for my brother here. And wait, I shall see you all later. Wait, Peace. Wait,